Nearly 64,900 Virginians are out of work tonight. That's up 10,000 from just last week. That's according to the State Department of Labor. But countless industries are desperate to hire as we move out of the pandemic. So where should you start looking for a job? And what if you feel out of practice? Our Tyler Lane has some answers, new at six. We're still kind of in crisis mode. As one crisis takes a back seat, another one grows in full force. We still have restaurants that are needing to, you know, shut down a day or two just due to lack of staffing. We still have hotels that are having to shut down, you know, a couple of floors. The threat of COVID-19 diminishes thanks to rising vaccination rates, but coronavirus induced worker shortages leave hospitality industry professionals like Jim Wilson desperate but hopeful for incoming applications. As more people travel, as more people get out there, um, you know, you'll see people um, coming back to work. I definitely I see that happening. I would say get get going now for sure rather than waiting because there's a huge need for people. Recruiter and resume writer Dan Embody says right now his phone is ringing off the hook with people looking for jobs. Get out there, open doors, knock doors, work your networks. If you've been out of the workforce because of COVID and you seem a bit rusty, he says that's totally okay. One thing about unemployment during the pandemic is it's not viewed the same as unemployment during a booming economy. It's understood. So where should you start? Embody says utilize LinkedIn and build connections within your industry. Take advantage of online job search websites and spruce up that resume. We want concise, high impact language. We don't want comprehensive uh, other duties as assigned. Oh, I, I also buy staples for the cabinet. Oh, I also make coffee on Wednesdays. Like, no, none of that. He says it's all about showcasing your skill set and how they can benefit the company and be sure to highlight your accomplishments. Let's say you handled a project and it saved a million dollars for the company. It needs to be a highlight. We don't want that buried down in the, uh, the job history. We want that front and center. And when you walk into a room for an in-person interview, you sit down and you look the employer right in the eye. It can be nerve-wracking. So Embody says set up as many interviews as possible to get some practice in. And most of all, loosen up and don't be afraid to be a real person.